Hey guys, welcome to Pitmaster X. I'm Roel and today we're gonna do another burger video. I already fired up the Joe Jr. and now we're going to make minced meat out of a nice chunk of bacon and some beef meat that you normally would use for stew. So it's a cheaper cut and we're gonna take this. You can use chuck eye for instance. I'm gonna take off this part of the um, bacon and I'm gonna cube it up. I'm going to do the same to our beef. And we wanna use the 50-50 bacon and beef. I'm going to pre-mix this so we get the same amount of beef and bacon in at the same time. So I got my meat grinder set on low setting, stuff the meat in. Now I understand not everybody has a meat grinding machine, so if you don't, just ask your butcher to grind up some bacon, he will love to do it for you. Then you can mix it up with uh, minced meat, beef, so uh, don't worry about that. And now it's time to start working on our sauce. First I'm gonna chop fine a shallot, peel off the outside layer, slice it in half, then slice it horizontally, vertically, and then start chopping. And the reason that I'm so specific is that I want it to be chopped really fine. Now this is the part where our sauce gets special. I'm taking two anchovies fillets and I'm going to chop these really fine. Then the same amount of capers. Chop those fine as well. And then I'm gonna take the point of my knife and start mushing this into a puree. Do the same for the anchovies. Mush it, mush it into a puree. Mix it up. Now the funny thing is that most people don't like anchovies, but as an ingredient, it adds a lot of flavor. And on our burger, it's not gonna taste fishy at all. So we created the paste and we can add that to the jar that we're going to make our sauce in. Add the shallots as well. I'm adding five tablespoons of yogurt-based mayonnaise, which is a low-fat mayonnaise. And the same amount of sugar-free ketchup. So for the ones who are asking how my diet is doing, it's doing just fine. And then mix this all up. And because we mushed the capers and the anchovies, and we sliced the shallots so fine, it's almost not gonna have any texture at all. But it's gonna be a little bit sour and the acidity is gonna balance out our burger. To make our burger patty, we're gonna start with a little bit of baking paper. We're going to place that here. Take a ring. You can get these at a household store, maybe $3, three euros. Put in a small handful of a minced meat. Press it firmly. And we'll take a bit of this mozzarella cheese. Try and keep it in the center as much as you can. And shredded Old Amsterdam, which is a strong flavored cheese, an old cheese like cheddar is. Then we're gonna put more minced meat on top. Slowly remove the ring while pressing the burger down. I wanna give these burgers a final press try and make them stick together because of course there's cheese in between. So our burger patties are ready to go on the grill. We got our buns here, we got our sauce, we got a little bit of salad. We're all ready to grill. Time to heat up our griddle. This is just a cast iron pancake griddle and we're gonna let it preheat and then we'll put some olive oil on it and we can start to work on sizzling our burger. Now the reason that I'm putting it on a cast iron is because this is going to give us a nice sear but at the same time this is very loose in structure so it might fall apart on this and I don't want that. If we use a normal grill it should just fall into the fire and the burger is gone. I'm trying to prevent that. So a little bit of olive oil. 
put on the burger patties and this is where these little baking sheets come in handy. Put them on and the other one. There we go. Let's keep a close eye on these. Make sure they don't go too fast. I'm closing the bottom vent here because there's enough air to go around to heat up this pan and the burgers. So we're getting close to halfway done. Give them a quick flip. So the burgers are almost done. We're just going to move them a little bit to the side so we can fit our burger buns on the grill griddle as well. Just get a quick toast on them. We just want them to be a little bit crispy, nothing more than that. Yes, crispy and toasty. We'll go in with the sauce first. Just a spoon of that fantastic sauce that we created. A little bit of lettuce. Well, if you're not into rabbit food, just leave it out. I know some of you guys have a hard time with that. Get the burgers off the grill. And I like to put just a little bit of sauce again in between. Get the second burger off. And then for the finishing touch, more sauce. Cap on. And that is your wonderful bacon, beef, cheeseburger, whatever goodness. Mm, this is gonna taste amazing. <laughs> Well, you guys come up with a good name for this burger because I think it's delicious. I think it's tasty, but it needs an epic name. It's time for the taste test. Are you ready to do this anaconda style? Here we go. Wow, that is fantastic. The complexity of this burger is fantastic. And the main thing in ingredient here is the bacon and the crust on the outside of that burger. But together with the cheese and the sauce, it really blends well together. Hope you guys like this recipe. Give it a try and let me know how your burger turned out. Cheers.